Linkage, stop guessing and start building perfectly. If you've ever experienced sloppy movement or premature wear and tear, chances are you've not got the correct linkage for your situation. Today, we're gonna run through some of the key things that you can do and measure up so you've got the correct linkage for your situation. From balls, pins, hydraulic top links, manual top links, leveling box, stabilizer arm, A-frames, linch pins, and even parts for your linkage for your lower link arms, we've got it all. Let's get straight in to linkage balls. How's that? With your linkage balls, they vary from categories one all the way up to four, with two and three being the most popular. You'll often find that your implement's top and lower linkage categories are different sizes as shown in the graph. So it's a good habit to make sure that you measure the diameter of the linkage ball to get the correct fitting for your implement. If you have a larger linkage ball but need to reduce the diameter, use a reduction bush. This is commonly used in categories two or three. At Sparex, you'll see that our heavy duty range is black. Now it's not been painted, but it's gone through a process of electro deposition, which gives it seven times more protection than our standard range. With all of our linkage balls and accessories, such as the reduction bushes, when you head over to our website, you can either search via the category or via the diameter, whichever you feel most comfortable with. Now to linkage pins. Once you know the diameter of your linkage ball, it makes choosing the correct pin far easier. With your pin, you need to make sure that you've got the correct diameter so it fits snugly. You also need to make sure that you've got the correct working length of pin for your situation. So to get this, you need to measure from the underside at the top of the pin all the way to where the linch pin or R clip fits in and that will find your working length. If your pin is too short, this means it will accelerate the wear of it and potentially bend the pin under the strain. So it is important to make sure you have the correct working length of pin to ensure a safe setup. If you haven't got your linkage pin readily available and you need to order a new one, you can get your linkage ball and measure the diameter to get the correct width for the new pin. And then to get the correct working length for the pin, you need to go and measure the linkage points on your implement, including the support brackets, to determine your length. At Sparex, we have a huge variety of pins, whether it's trailer hitch pins, whether it's flat pins, dual headed pins, or pins to fit onto your implement. So no matter the situation, we will have the correct pin which can be found on our website. When should you change your pins? If they've got heavy rust and corrosion on them or they've started bending, you should get them changed. If they break or snap, then it's gonna be a far more costly replacement of the implement than what a simple linkage pin would be. So make sure you keep an eye on these for any cracks, bending or corrosion so you've got a safe setup. So, moving on to hydraulic top links. An absolute game changer in my eyes. These are super convenient and also really efficient. When you're plowing or drilling, where you need to make precision movements on your top link, you can do this from the comfort of your cab, so you're then not having to get out and twist your manual top link manually, making it way more efficient and easier for you. To determine what hydraulic top link you need, you can either search for this through our make model search, or if you've already got a manual top link, you can do this through the categories, similar to what we've done with our other linkage parts. If you are looking to get a new hydraulic top link going off your old manual top link, it's recommended that you check the minimum retracted length because if your hydraulic top link is too short, then it's not gonna fit the implement correctly. And it's often recommended that you should go off the manufacturer's requirements to get the best fitment for your make and model. 
With hydraulic top links, you've got two options. You've either got the hook system or the ball system. The decision often is up to the user. Going into the cylinder diameter, this often depends on your tractor's make and model and the horsepower. So if your tractor has got more horsepower, you're gonna need a larger diameter to lift and adjust the hydraulic top link than what you would if you have a lower horsepower machine. The great thing about hydraulic top links is often they come with all the necessary gubbins which you need. So, you've got your hydraulic pipes, you've got your chain to hold your hydraulic top link in place, you've got your fixtures and fittings, and what's best is you've got your linkage board as well. What more could you ask for? These hydraulic top links are manufactured in Italy by CBM, offering the best quality and durability on the market. So no matter your make and model of tractor, we'll have the right hydraulic top link for you. A small but crucial detail for your hydraulic top link is a stand or clip. We've got a huge range of these for most makes and models, and it's crucial to suspend your hydraulic top link using one of these because otherwise it's susceptible for dropping and sagging which puts unnecessary damage wear and tear on the hydraulic hoses and the cylinder itself make sure when you get your hydraulic top link you've got the correct stand or clip finally let's move on to leveling boxes and stabilizer arms with your levelling box or your stabiliser arms, if you head over to the website, you can search for the correct one via the make model search. Or you can measure up to get the specific one for you. So whether that's the length or the ball fitting. And similar with the stabiliser arm, whether that's the length or the fitting either side. This is very much dependent on the make and model of tractor that you have. Whether you're looking to replace worn out parts or upgrade your linkage system, we at Sparex will have all of the parts for you. If you've got any questions about the parts that we've ran through or would like to know more, drop a comment down below. And if you've got any feedback for us on whether or not you like this type of content or you would like to see more content about different product ranges, please let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video because it really does help the channel out. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.